Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave van der Groot, a Dutch illustrator and animator, but you can call me Stave. In this tutorial, we're going to draw a deer with pastel pencils. The only thing you need is pastel pencils and pastel paper. Let's get started. When you're drawing with pastel pencils or with pastels, it's always good to have paper with some structure to it. Otherwise your pastels won't uh, get fixed to the paper because you need the structure to uh, smear your pastels in. I'm now first going to draw uh, the sketch of the deer and I always use some circles to have the basic shape of the head and I'm using a brown uh, a light brown pastel pencil because this is going to be the basic color of the deer and I'm just sketching out uh, the basic shapes first and after that I'm going to do the details and just to keep it very simple so I'm drawing the eyes and the nose and he has an open mouth because he's burling and deer deers are burling to attract females it's an awful sound but when i'm sketching i'm just thinking with my pencil i'm now going to draw the antler and i first do the basic shape of the antler and after that i will add the details like the little horns or bits and pieces that make up the entire design of the antler. This is the back side and um, they also have horns on front of their head and with these horns they fight. And in the back is uh, it's also a very big part of the antler but it's in perspective so it's much smaller. Just gonna draw the fur on the front of his neck and already making some sketches in how the fur will be of, of the deer and where his feet will be. Just drawing the, the basic shapes of, of a deer. His back paw and he also has a little tongue sticking out because he's shouting or burling. Now I'm just going to add some highlights because in this scene the light is coming from the left and if you make a mistake the best thing about pastel pencils is that you can erase them and I'm now using a pencil uh, which is actually a, a, an eraser so I'm just doing the highlights because the sun is coming from the back from the left it's always good to start out with lighter colors I'm using sandpaper to get really pointy uh, pencils but you can um, sharpen them with uh, a sharpener but I got a tip to not use a usual sharpener but a sharpener you use for pencils for your eyes because these sh sharpeners are much bigger If you want to have a real sharp pencil, then I use sandpaper to make the points really sharp. I use medium uh, sandpaper for that. And well, I'm just sketching in or coloring in the white parts. And sometimes I use a charcoal pencil. These are um, a little bit more greasy and you get great highlights with these pencils because they're built up differently because pastel pencils are really soft 
and charcoal pencil is a little bit harder and I'm now going to add the details of the backlight with some yellow some bright yellow and also going to do the back of the deer and use the charcoal pencil again and adding some shadow in the neck of the deer and it's always good practice you know with parcel pencils you can mix on your paper so to get richer colors it's always good to have different colors and that you mix them later you can do that with your finger by pressing it into the paper and I'm still doing the highlights of the antlers and doing the shadow and I'm already drawing them uh, with this within the structure of the fur and you can mix it with your finger then you're really pressing it into the paper and it's, it's very important to have paper which has a bit of a structure otherwise you can't press it into the paper and now coloring in with a light yellow and over that I will use the light brown and if you mix it later you can see that the, the color will be much richer if you press a little bit harder you can already see that the colors are mixing especially with the white now at the nose and you can already see that the colors are mixing very well. Not doing the nose and I have a little bit of a gray and a little bit of blue. And the inside of his mouth is going to be white, but the base this, uh, on the bottom it's going to be a little bit of a shade. I'm using a dark blue pencil for that then I'm going to mix it with this charcoal white if you want to have highlights just uh, add uh, very small strokes just tap it a little bit more and then you get uh, better highlights because the pigment will stick on top of the paper Now using a, a light brown, now I'm really pressing hard and you can already see that the colors are mixing and you get a nice effect of different colors and the colors will get richer. I'm still doing the basic shapes and later on I will add the details. I really love this medium because you get a different effect than if you were doing it with normal pencils because normal pencils you can't mix your pencils on paper. I'm just layering all the colors. This is a foreground of an animation I did. You can see this animation on my YouTube channel called Like So. It's presented by a mole called Professor Dr. Anton Mole and in this video uh, he discusses everything about spring but I'll put a link down below in the description box so you can see the animation using the highlights again with the white charcoal pencil and I'm all over the place because I'm also looking at values. I'm shading in with uh, 
a grey pencil, so the white fur, we're going to use the grey to do the shadows. And later on you can blend it again. So I'm first applying the pencils and then I'm going to blend it again and just broke a white pencil and I have several white uh, parcel pencils because I use it a lot for highlights and for mixing. This is a, a different kind of, this is a more uh, a hard parcel pencil which is a carondage pencil that's great for highlights as well. I'm now using uh, black to draw in the shades or the shadows of the, the deer. And I'm using a blender which is a very handy tool and you can buy it in an art store if you want to buy a blender just ask for a blender for parcel pencils or for parcels and they'll know what you want to get and this is a very small one you can do nice details with this uh, blender tool an advantage of using a blender tool is that you won't get smudged fingers I'm now applying uh, the darker brown and I'm already mixing it with pressing a little bit harder on my pencil and if you have more colors and layers of colors uh, applied to your paper then it's easier to mix your colors. So if you want to have a variety of colors, you just have to build it up in layers. Now applying a darker brown to do the shadows on the neck, because I lost it a little bit by smudging too much. And I'm now doing a little bit more of the detail, so I don't smudge that much. Smudging your colors is good for the basic shapes of your character or of something you're drawing and later on you just add the details. I'm going to color in the antler and the antler is dark brown so I'm pressing really hard on the paper to get all the pigments into the paper and later I will blend it with my finger. I'm really trying to get the dark color of the antler uh, onto paper. I'm doing the front um, horns as well and the back horns but you need to be careful if you do something uh, that's in front of something else. You need to uh, watch the values because I'm going to draw the back antler with black because it's a dark color and then the front horn will pop out. It's a great technique to get your illustrations or drawings more dynamic. So you see now that the front horn is popping out because it's a, a contrasting color and value. And I'm now just adding shades and because it already has a lot of whites applied to the paper, you can mix it with your parcel pencil.
And I'm now just doing the, the details of the deer. I'm concentrating on you know, how the fur looks like and just doing it with tiny strokes because you can't draw all the fur, it's just an indication of the fur you're drawing. And I'm now using the very sharp blender tool and with this you can blend the details without smudging everything. Now using a darker charcoal. Now going to draw the shade in the antler and I'm using a black parcel pencil. And if you have bigger parts you can blend it with your finger. If you do smaller parts, you can use the blender too. And it's a good way you now to blend it and to press it really into your paper. Otherwise your parcels will be on top of it and then you just can blow it off. I left some um, black open to draw in the highlights. Now drawing in the fur and some spots on his back. Just to get a little bit of a structure in his fur and the bottom of his belly is a little bit darker so I'm using a, a grey, light grey parcel pencil for that. And it's all about, you know, finishing off the drawing with little details and you just have to look at the entire picture and you have to stop, you know, when your drawing is finished. And now using a little bit of a, a hard parcel pencil. I forgot to draw the tail of the, the deer, so I'm now uh, drawing that and just adding some highlights. Forgot to do his tongue, which is a little bit of a pink, and the top of it uh, is light because the light is shining on it. If you want to see the uh, animation in action, I'll put a link in the description box down below to the animation on the Like So YouTube channel. Then you can see uh, it in, in action. Just adding some highlights with a white pencil. I think the back paw needs some more shade to make the shape more believable. I'm just smudging it with my finger. And it's just about adding details. So basically it's just doing the basic colors and mixing it with different colors. So you get richer colors. And later on you're just adding the details. I hope you like this uh, uh, video tutorial about drawing with parcels. If you want more uh, tutorials on drawing with uh, parcel pencils, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always looking at the, the comments and maybe can answer some questions or uh, maybe if, if you like it, do uh, other tutorials about drawing with parcel pencils. So this is how you draw a deer with parcel pencils. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up or share it with your friends. You can also subscribe to my channel. And in that way, you won't miss a single video. 
drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles! Details of the bark and I'm gonna add some highlights with a white pastel pencil just to get the left side because the, the light is shining on the left side of the trees and if you apply the highlights then the trees will stand out more.